All right, guys, so we are on the street in Surat Tani, and we're headed to the local market. The absolute best time to see the locals and the current vibe is to get outside in the evening right after about work time, so let's check it out. Hey, 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 Vern. Hey. So it just kind of finished raining, so I'm not sure how busy it's gonna be. So this is the night vibe. We're headed over to the market. I'm very close. I'm staying at a place called My Place. And it's just about two to three blocks from this main market, which is really nice. So let me know how the audio is. I've got a little Sennheiser wireless setup that I'm trying. I've had it for a while. It was given to me by a good friend, Leonardo. Thank you, my friend. He had it laying around and wasn't using it. Figured I could get some use out of it. So we're giving it a shot. Still people out. They got to eat, they got to shop. This is the only time a lot of people get to go out. These guys are cool here. Nice little pharmacy. Look at that, I'm just so close to this place. I got the plastic up there. Getting ready to weather the storm. Hello. All right, you guys. So you can get a lot of cool stuff here at this market. A lot of street foods, a lot of pork. A lot of chicken, some fish, a little bit of everything. So I got my umbrella, so I gotta kinda navigate through this crowd. They're cooking some chicken here. A lot of curry stuff, a little bit of everything up here. A bit of everything. Some juice, I've had this juice, it's pretty good. So this is probably the most vibrant night market I've seen since I've been in Thailand. Because it's more of a local town. Not so much a touristy town. Hello? Lots of options, you guys. Fried pork. Lots of options. So how much is a half a chicken? So this leg is 55. So it goes down about this half a street here. That yeah, will take a quick walk, why not? You guys haven't seen this place. And if you have, maybe you'll recognize some of these vendors here. So I've come here quite a bit. But what I don't really know is there aren't a lot of options for sitting down. It seems like it's kind of set up to get your food to go. I don't see a lot of options for sitting down and eating, which is unfortunate. I wish they had like an eating area. I like to go to these places and kind of sit and eat. Can you buy your Barbie doll here? How's that? It's a nice big walk. Cruising right along. It's real nice to see people out and about. I really miss that. And I know you guys did too. I've gone to a lot of places where there were no people at all. And the vibe was not happening. So at least there's something going on here. I thought it would be less people being that it was raining today, but still, there's quite a few people out here actually. So that makes it kind of nice. All right, there you go. It used to be like a sticky rice for 10. Looking good. Looking good. Ah, I like it. Making me hungry. I hope I'm making you guys hungry. Lots of options. Lots of options. It's frying up. Almost looks like a seaweed. Not sure what that is. Maybe you guys know. So three for 50 baht. Ah, oh, that looks good. Almost looks like kind of a pancake that she's making there. See the molds here? Just checking to see if they're hot enough. She'll dump it in. Or he'll dump it in. There he goes. Cool, looks good. Good enough to eat. <laughs> all right, a little bit of syrup. Boy, I'd be all into that. That looks really good. All right, you guys. 
So my goal now is to go down to the pier and to find out how much the ticket is to go to the nearest island. Rockin' here. What do you think of this temple at night, you guys? Does that look nice? Another temple on this side. So we're only two blocks from the water, from the ocean here, the inlet to the ocean. And there's a little bit of a night vibe here. We're gonna check that out also. That looks interesting, huh? Uh, that looks a little demonic there with the red lit eyes at night. Kind of unusual, huh? I guess I've always associated red eyes with evil. I don't know, maybe it's different here. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> what do you guys think? Red eyes? Like something out of a scary movie. Dylan had said there was a little place to sit up here at night that had a really cool vibe, and that's what we're gonna look at right now. All right, so they got this lit up at night, and he said they put these placemats out. That's just a really cool vibe to come to at night. We're gonna see if there's anybody out here. It's been raining. A lot of people don't come out when it's raining, so. This is kind of cool, huh? So this is right off the water. You come down here and take a seat and sit on these mats and have a drink. There's some people down here, you can see. They're hanging out. So I think they serve a little food and they serve a little drink. It's a little too dark to be in this area filming with my gear. I'm looking to upgrade to an iPhone 12. And that might be one of my reasons heading to Bangkok. Just about ran my head into a wire here. Hard to see at night. So that might be my reason to go up to Bangkok here in a few weeks. The new iPhone will come out. And of course, I'm not gonna buy a new one, but I'd like to buy a one year old one at a discounted price. So that's kind of the goal. I've got some ideas for some different different methods for filming, and that's what we're gonna do. All right, so we're walking down, heading towards the main area where people congregate at night. All right, steaming, ready to rock and roll. All those look like little grub worms. Hello, what are these? Silkworm, fried silkworms. Wow, fried silkworms. Are they yummy? Are they, are they, are they yummy? <laughs> That's really interesting. I might have to come back for that one. Fried silkworms, wow. Thank you. That's a new one. I never heard of fried silkworms. All right. How about you guys? You ever eaten fried silkworms? Do you eat them like popcorn? I guess I would rather eat them fried than non-fried because worms are kind of mushy. And if they're fried, they may be crunchy. All right, so now we're down here at kind of the promenade type park down on the river. This is where the boats leave for one of the nearby islands. Run at night with no lights. So this is the river with the horrible undercurrent that you don't want to get stuck out in. Because if you did fall in, that would take you under. They don't allow swimming in here as far as I was told. Oh, the bridge looks beautiful from here. So that's the bridge I'm gonna walk to tonight. We're gonna have a look at that. That's the bridge that people were jumping from that Dylan had mentioned. All right, these girls are dancing up the storm here. Oh, no, she quit dancing. Oh, the bridge is doing different colors. That's really cool. So those are the colors of Thailand. Red, white, and blue. Why don't you guys fish from here? 
Hello? Is fishing good? Fishing no, good or? No cast. Fishing bad? No, it's just What kind of fish? Oh. Is it, is it, is it uh, catfish? What, what fish do you catch? What? Uh, catfish. Catfish. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Because they like the water here, the, the muddy water. Yeah, cool. I, I do fishing since I was this tall. I fish too. Cool. All right. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, uh. <laughs> Seeing those guys fishing, I miss fishing. I love fishing. I've been fishing since I was a kid. It's been a while now. I haven't put a line in in too long. It's just something therapeutic about zinging out a line, popping out that bait, letting it sit, and just collecting your thoughts. All right. So here's a couple boats and another guy fishing. Oh, two guys are fishing. So I'm not sure if this boat is actually going to the island. The other one's lit up, this one's not. When I was here last time, it looked to be two boats that were going. This looks to be a cargo, cargo type ship. If it has a deck that drops down in the front, it looks like it does. So that is kind of a car carrier. I don't know if it has like a sleeping bunk up top. Let's see if I can find out when this ship leaves, too. I'd asked about the one in the end, but I don't know about this one. Let's find out. So, Kotal. Not even sure where that is. Ah, uh, 6 a.m. Okay, 2200, so it leaves at 10 p.m. It arrives at 6 a.m. Kotal. I'm going to look up that one also. So, it's about an eight-hour ride. So, you can tell where the boat goes. Usually they'll sand there. All right, so let's see where this one goes here. This looks like something off of a Delta River boat, huh? Hey, look at this thing. Colors, the wooden decks. Looks like something out of the Delta. Down in Louisiana, baby. Chicken gumbo, catfish. That's what I'm talking about. Get your gumbo. Jumbo gumbo. Where does this one go? Surat Thani and Koh Samui. But I don't think this one is working. I think he said that this boat is not going. So when I was here a couple nights ago, I inquired about this boat here. And this boat leaves at 10 p.m. Surat Thani and Koh Fengen. Hello. Boat tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, same time, 10 p.m.? 10 p.m. 10 p.m. And how much ticket? Uh, 400 baht. 400 baht. And and what time does it arrive? I'm not aware. Ah, okay. Thank you. All right. So there she is. Hello. What? What time does boat arrive? Uh, what time? Kofangan. What time? Leave. 10. Tomorrow 11. What, what, what time in boat? Nine? Eight? Nine. Nine in boat? Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you guys. So nine, 9 p.m. you can get on the boat, best I could tell. You guys to see this fruit market vibe it's pretty nice hello? hello all right i got my umbrella today so we're in good shape <laughs> we're in good shape all right so when the 7-elevens are going when the 7-elevens are going you know that thailand is rocking because they live off the 7-elevens here they really live on their 7-elevens here you guys it's like they're all around go-to place kind of funny you never would think it would be that right that's kind of what's happened 7-elevens conquering the world one store at a time a lot of good fruits 120 for a kilo 80 for a kilo of small grapes 
what this I don't recognize this area yet. So it's kind of new for me too, you guys. Alright. It's kind of a nice little shelter. Alright, rock and roll. Good fishing? <laughs> Alright. Uh, I do miss fishing, you guys. I grew up with a fishing pole in my hand many, many, many years. A lot of time and money invested into fishing. Hello? How are you? Good, good. Is the fishing good? No, prawn. Prawn. Oh, prawn. No, no fit. Oh, really? Someone prawn, yeah. Only prawn? Yeah. Oh. No fit. Fit and it doesn't. No oh, food. wow. Yes. Wow. And, uh, um, no and, uh, the big, uh, no. Oh, yes, wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Only prawn. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Where we go? Ah, I go crazy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. How long Surat? Ah, uh, Surat. Ah, uh, seven days. Seven days. Seven days. Yeah. And uh, holiday? No. Uh, I Work, travel. Working? Traveling. Oh, Just yeah. traveling. Yeah, yeah. Where you come from? Ah, uh, American. Oh, American. Ah, uh, oh, very good. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thailand and uh, Low Thi Sun, yes? Yes. Uh huh. And uh, three day, three month, four month, okay, and uh, Thai Sun, no have a uh, passenger. Oh, I yeah, hope it's busy. Always. I don't know. Mm. I uh, working and uh, food. Okay. No food, little busy. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. I hope it get better soon. Yes. I hope yeah, it get better. Yeah, yeah. No food. I think and they then, they try open October. Uh -huh. I think they try open. Yeah, same same and uh, I, I, I think. Yeah? Okay. Uh huh. Ah. Same. Salad. Uh, angkit. Tin. Same same. Right. Yeah. Right. And, um, no mm. food. No. I hope it opens for you soon, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. I hope it yeah. does. <laughs> I had my own business twenty years. I worked myself twenty yeah. years. So. Oh. I yeah. know how hard that is. It's I, very uh, hard. Working in a Phuket. Okay. Always Phuket and uh, finish, finish bar, finish um, working. Okay. Yeah. I come back home. Uh, home. Ah yeah. yes, a lot of people come and, home. And food home many many. Ah uh -huh, yeah. Okay. Phuket no. Ah. Yeah. Ah. You have passenger, yeah? Right. Yeah. Right. Get everything. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere yeah. is like that, yeah. yeah. Ah. <laughs> well, I hope it changed soon. Yeah. I hope it changed soon. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank See you. you. See ah. you. Take care. Good luck. Ah, thank you. That's a great little statue. Here. Look at that. He's got a little fishing rod there. That's really cool. Fishing up a storm. Look at the bridge, you guys. It's got a heart lit up. That's really cool. That's really cool. I really feel bad for these guys that are struggling. I know how hard that is having my own business for 20 years. It's just, it's rotten, this whole COVID thing. All right, so we have to kind of go off the beaten path here a block. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Yeah, I could see why my friend was mesmerized by this bridge. or unlocked. Look at that. That's really something. Alright, so I'm going to try to take one of the boats tomorrow night and vlog that. And it leaves tomorrow night at 10 p.m. I'm not sure if they're sleeper bunks. I would imagine they are. But I don't think they get there till early morning. And I think he said it was 400 baht, which is very little money, so I'm excited for that. <laughs> 